I'm not hiding. This nigga is over here telling everybody business and shit. So, Junior did not get surgery. So, I don't know what he's talking about. Talking about, oh, the baby had to get surgery. He do need surgery, but he didn't have surgery. He needs surgery for his hernia. Because his daddy going to talk all his little, all this bullshit. So, we're going to clear it up. He didn't get surgery yet. And, yes, he do has to get surgery for hernia. But, why are you sitting up on an... And, and then I text him, like, what's up, right? What, what we doing? Why are you online talking about his hernias for clout? He like, you not my BM fuck. Like, he's been the same day I left. And after I made new money, what happened? I don't ask him for shit. Not my father, like, like, like not like father, but like, you know how you be calling your nigga daddy? He not my daddy for real, cause I take care of myself. So he trying to make it. He trying to make me feel like, like shit. He ain't trying to make me feel like shit for like figuring it out. And I only only bullshit I hate about it. Why go online and talk about our son? What what what's the point? I thought we was moving positive. Then now I'm texting him instead of him saying sorry. He trying he trying he said so you unblock me. Blueface hopped online and said, I'm mad about the last name. I don't care about the first name. Everybody knows tradition. Baby could have been named Malone Porter. I would have been cool and feel more entitled to be part of the process. My son is named after a crackhead, bro. Come on now. Y'all want me to be cool with that? Never. Jada had my daughter. I was with Rock. She still called me and told me where to come to be a part of the birth. We spent four days in the hospital together and named the baby together. That's how it's supposed to go. Rock is just bitter and using my son as a pun to make me feel obligated to her. Please go tell Rock to find some cock and get off mine. Somebody tell little baby, please come get her. I'm begging y'all. Tell cuz to adopt this girl so she can go live and talk about some new cock. Bruh. Then he said, as long as she go live talking about me, I'm going to be tweeting. I've been doing a great job not saying nothing, but she keep going on and on about me, not wanting to come to her house. I'm not coming. Baby still ain't had surgery for his hernia. She lying talking about he healthy. He don't have a penis because the hernia in his ball is so big. And she's standing on here talking about me and my cock. Fix your son's cock first and then go find somebody else to ride. Bruh, this nigga is sick. He a demon for real. He literally, he posted a picture of his newborn son, Krishan Jr., private part, trying to show that he don't got no... No penis. Like, he literally posted that on Twitter. A whole picture. Like, what the hell is wrong with him, bro? Like, this nigga is pure evil to do something like that. And keep on trying to embarrass her. He said the other day, literally, that he not going to be mean to her. He knows she going through postpartum. He going to fall back. Now, she did get on live talking about him after that interview came out. Because why he exposing personal stuff? She never came out and mentioned nothing about no hernia. So why is you? That's supposed to be something behind closed doors that y'all talk about. Like, why are you bringing it to the public? He doing anything to get under her, to get under her skin. He's just like a female. He's no better. He's stupid to her level. Let her talk shit. She's a woman. Like, as far as you trying to expose everything, showing pictures of your child's private area. Like, he's sick for that. Why would you want the world to see that or know that? Krishan really need to just leave this nigga alone. If she needs to, put him on child support and move on with her life. Ain't no D this good for her to be going this crazy. It's plenty of dudes out here. Like, what the hell? She got the money and the fame. She don't need this nigga, bro. And why she be back with this nigga in a couple days? <laughs> this shit like clockwork, bro. But she really need to leave this nigga alone. If he would embarrass her like that and a child, he don't got no morals or no respect for nobody. This shit is a real life drama series, like. I'm at the end of my seat when looking at this shit, man. Ain't no telling what's gonna happen next. What y'all think about this shit, boy? Beat, make sure I'm trying.